Good afternoon. Thank you guys for tuning back into this channel. I appreciate it. God is definitely doing some great things in my life, and I pray and hope that he is doing great things in your life. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. God is doing good things in my life, and I guarantee you, if you keep your hands in the word of God, he will definitely bless you also. Um, today, um, let's go in with prayer. Um, first off, all eyes closed and every head bowed. Father God, we thank you for this opportunity, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for your word, Father God. We ask right now, Father, that your word go forth, Father God, that you bless every each and every individual right now that is watching this video, Father God. Touch their hearts, Father God. Touch their minds, Father God. Touch their situation right now, Father God. We ask, Father God, that you deliver them, Father God. Father God, we ask that this glorifies your name, Father God. We give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen and thank God. Welcome back. Welcome back, you guys. Um, today I would like to read something to you guys. If you don't mind, um, please pay attention. It reads, when we read God's word, we glue our needs to God's provision. We read the words on the page and realize God has helped people with the same needs as ours. Whether it's for love or wisdom, provision or righteousness, Jesus has all we need. He is a giver and he has us closer to receive what he has for us, including intimacy with him. Read through his word and be trained of him. Let the Holy Spirit teach you all things as you and reflect it, read the Psalms and comfort and encouragement. Study the Proverbs for a deeper wisdom. God's word is written for you and it belongs to you. And I would like for you guys, if you have your Bibles, I would like for you to turn with me to um, Psalms 91 verses 14 and 15. And it reads, because he has set his love upon me. Therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. Verse 15. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. God loves you. God love you. So remember that Jesus Christ loves you. He wants you to follow him. He wants you to be a born again Christian. He wants to do great things in your life. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care what the doctor may say. I don't care what may be on your mind. Jesus Christ will deliver you. All you have to do is call on his name. I thank God so much that he delivered me from all my troubles. I'm so glad that he watches over me and my family. You know, God is so good, you guys, that, you know, sometimes we forget to recognize what God has done for us already. You know, it's a lot of people that don't recognize what God has already done. You know, instead of complaining about the things that you don't have or the things that you want, be thankful for the things that you do have. You know, God will bless you eventually. You just have to hold on and keep the faith. You have to believe. You know, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. All you have to do is have faith. God loves you. God loves you. He wants you a part of the Christian family. I don't care what you're doing right now. I don't care what you're going through right now. Jesus understands your situation. He understands what you're going through. He knows. Sometimes God will take you through it just so he can bring you out of it. So he can show you how real he is. You know, a lot of people doubt God. But God is a, he's a real God. He, he can do all things. That's why it says in the Bible, it says, we can do all things through Jesus Christ who strengthens us daily. 
So we must continue to give God the praise. We must continue to pray. We must continue to encourage others that don't believe in Jesus Christ. You know, God the Father sent his son to die on the cross for our sins. You know, so what that means is that he sent his only begotten son to die in our place. You know, Jesus Christ died for us when we were not even in sin. That's a good thing. Jesus Christ loves us that much. So we ought to be giving him the praise and the glory that he did that for us. You know, he went to the cross and he died for us. Please read your Bibles. Read your Bible. Jesus Christ loves you. He wants to do great things for you. Seek and you will find. He loves you. He, he wants to come in your life. He wants to bless your situation. He wants to take you to the next level. But you have to allow God to come in your life. He will move, but you have to make the first step. You know, a lot of people wait on certain things. You know, they pray on certain things. You know, when is this going to happen? When is that going to happen? But God is waiting for you to make that first step. As soon as you make that first step, God is going to do the rest. You just continue doing what God wants you to do. No matter what you're going through, no matter what the people may say about you, let them talk. Because God has the last word. He loves you and he wants to do great things in your life. I'm so thankful that he is working out things in my life. I'm so thankful that he came in my life and that he changed my situation. And I, I know if he can do it for me, I know he can do it for you also. Just call on his name. Call on his name. He will come through. Jesus will come through. And I know sometimes we be in so much of a rush to get what God has for us. We may look at things and say, or why I don't have that, or why I don't have this. We have to remember that God's timing is not our timing. Sometimes we bring hell upon ourselves because we force things that we don't need at that very moment. And see, God is trying to put everything together so at the right time, You'll be prepared for it. That's just like a soldier when he goes to war. He has to go through training. And once he gets through training, he goes out in front line and then he goes to war. And see, what God is doing right now in everyone's life is that he's getting you prepared for the next step, the next level. But you have to be willing to wait on God to use you. Be patient. God loves you. And he wants to do great things in your life. I just want to say I thank you guys once again for watching this video. Continue to watch the videos. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I, I ask that you subscribe to the channel. Please subscribe to the channel. God is definitely doing great things with every eye closed and head bowed. Father God, I come asking you right now that you touch every individual right now that's watching this video, Father God. Father God, your word has went forth, Father God, and we ask right now, Father God, that they take it, Father God, and they apply it to their everyday life, Father God. We thank you, Father God, and we glorify your name right now in Jesus Christ. We pray, Father God. Amen and thank God. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, you guys be blessed. And remember, subscribe to the channel. We're doing this for Jesus Christ. We're going to win the battle. We're going to win souls. Until next time, you guys, be blessed. I love you, but Jesus Christ loves you more.